giving an update on my grass. Um, it's been a while, so there's a few things that have happened. Number one, a lot of people ask about um, nut grass. I have had a battle with nut grass forever. Um, that's why we ripped this yard up and laid this beautiful grass that we have here now. So I thought I'd just show you because I just treated the grass again. So this is what it looks like. So that there is the dreaded nut grass. It's kind of like a triangular type of um, lighter green grass. It grows so much faster, especially than way faster than a, um, a zoysia grass, that's for sure. But any of the grasses it grows faster than. There's some more there. So it's quite obvious. It's a bit of a mongrel and it does pop up. Um, it likes rain, usually after the rain it will pop up. Some people get in and pull them out, but there's a little bulb that runs underneath and you pull this guy out and next minute he's gonna spring up this guy and this guy and, and they do, they just grow. Um, the sedge hammer actually kills it right down into the bulb and um, it's the better way to get rid of it, honestly. You can't, I, I can't go past that sedge hammer. That's amazing stuff. Um, I think studies have shown that nutgrass has lived and survived underneath concrete slabs for um, 10 years or more and still been able to sprout up. So, you know, you'd be battling this for a while, but if you got that sedge hammer, you just do it as a spray whenever you can and whenever it pops up, eventually you'll get on top of it. Birds can bring it in anyway. They just poop it out and creep seeds out and you, you're never gonna stop having weeds you, you just got to stay on top of it and um, yeah sedge hammer is really good but yeah don't don't pull them this is what happens when you pull them I'll show you oh, get up so this is one of our little gardens this is my son's little garden and there's nut grass in wild form so it's more difficult for me to spray it in here because I don't want to hurt my uh, flowers probably best to use sedge hammer in the first place these big ones you can actually see that triangular look of the leaf I don't know if you can see the V that it gets but yeah that's it so this is the stuff I use um, so it's called sedge hammer and I'll get it out of the packet So it is a little bit expensive, but you do get this bottle, which will last for ages because for my, I don't have a very big yard, but for my tiny yard, I've calculated I only need half a scoop in my five liter um, sprayer. I do put a little bit more than what it says because I hate nut grass and um, my grass tolerates it. So just test it out on your grass first, obviously. Um, comes with a little guide as to how to make it up and all that sort of jazz. I just use a syringe um, to put a little bit of detergent in with it. So when I make it up I put the detergent on because I don't know if you can notice but this stuff super shiny so it's quite, it's quite waxy so the detergent apparently helps it stick to the leaf so um, takes a few days to a week to really see it have effect 